Oh, you, you're going to, okay. Yes, welcome back to Why in the Morning. My name is Barry Moses, or it's Barry Moore on every social media platform. You can interact with me directly or with the family handles at white 54 channel on Twitter, white 54 underscore channel on Instagram, and white 54 on Facebook. Hashtag is Why in the Morning, and this is Entrepreneurship Tuesday. So my guest, my first guest of the day, has a passion uh, for humanitarian work. She has a passion for giving back to the community, but still makes uh, her own money on the side. She goes by name for Ada and she's from Mombasa County 001 Sorry, Busan. Asante. All right, your camera is number four for Ada. Uh, just introduce yourself. Kowale wana kuona mara ya kwanza. Any language, you can mix it, you can use English, you can use Swahili. Okay, uh -huh. so I'm Farida Ali, uh -huh. I'm a human rights activist, uh -huh. a humanitarian, uh -huh. a youth leader from Mombasa, Kenya. All right. Yeah. Only at the at the age of uh, twenty, imagine you're already a leader. Yeah. All right. Have you always been like this growing up? Yeah, cause uh -huh. growing up, I've been this confident, cheeky child, uh -huh. and I never got to understand actually what it meant. Mm -hmm. But I guess it comes from the inner drive. Mm -hmm. And uh, growing up, I just discovered that this is my thing. This is your thing. This Leadership is my is your thing. thing. Exactly. Uh, you're yet to join campus. Yes. Uh, in January. Yeah. What are you going to be studying in? I'm school? going to study social work and community development. Social work and community development. Yeah. And this is where your passion is at. Uh, why did you choose to to work with with people and work for people? Because actually growing up, I grew up in a society where I've been seeing the imbalance of resources and mm. uh, poverty and stuff. Mm. So I never had this helping hand, mm -hmm. uh, somebody to help me. And actually what we have, uh, the Costarian perspective by then mm -hmm. is that a Muzungu is the only one who can actually help. Mm -hmm. So that used to piss me very off. Mm -hmm. So I took that task upon me and that one day when I make it, so when I have the ability to help someone, mm -hmm. then I'm going to start right from there with the little that I have. All right, so the yeah. notion has always been foreigners are the only people uh, exactly, who can help Exactly, exactly. Kenyans cannot help them. Kenyans cannot help and this themselves. is the notion that you want to get out, out of, of people's mind. Uh -huh. Yeah. And uh, especially the Kenyan youth, for sure. Yeah, and actually it's not necessarily mm -hmm. when you become a billionaire is when you can help someone, mm -hmm. no. Mm -hmm. You just start with the simple things, mm -hmm. yeah. What are some of the simple things that you're doing to help your community as we speak? Okay, if I can use a good example is mm -hmm. I started an initiative of geometrical sets. Mm -hmm for the KCPE candidates who have come from very needy family. Mm -hmm. And I just uploaded everything on my Facebook uh, mm -hmm. account. And from the feedback I got from people, mm -hmm. I re started receiving money via my MPESA without any pay bill or what. Mm -hmm. Started receiving money and I helped 1,110 candidates with geometrical sets. Class of 2019? Class of 2019. The that was just released? Yesterday. 1, 1,110 uh -huh. candidates from Ganze. 1,110 yeah. candidates uh, were able to sit their mathematical, uh, the mathematics examinations without stress, courtesy of this initiative that exactly. you started. Exactly. Where did you get these needy students from? How did you pick them? I used to visit the, the needy schools because I uploaded it and mm -hmm. I was open to suggestions to mm -hmm. schools which are very needy. Mm -hmm. And from the suggestions, I did my research mm -hmm. and I started getting communication with the teachers and mm -hmm. that's how I got to the call. Of it. All right. Uh, I'm trying to imagine all this communication, all this coordination, all this work at your age with your responsibilities. You want to have a good time, as always. At this age, it's obvious you want to go out with your friends. Yeah. You want to go to the beach with your friends. Yeah. Where do you get the time to, to fit uh, all these people's problems in your yeah. schedule? Okay, one thing that drives me and I walk with this message is that in every, everything that I do, I make sure I have fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I uh, I enjoy that process of actually helping and putting a smile on someone's face. Mm -hmm. And that is the reason as to why I joined Rotary. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because in Rotary we do these community services and after that we also have uh, activities and events which are actually for having fun on the mm -hmm. process. Yeah. You have a leadership position at Rotary Club. Yes, at uh, Rotary Club of Youth. I'll still insist at the age of 20. All right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, what is the average age of the people you're working with at Rotary? Actually, I'm the, I'm the young, uh, there's the youngest who is 18, then uh -huh. followed by me, who is 20. Uh -huh. yeah. The youngest who is 18, then followed by you, who is 20. Exactly. How is it leading people who are older than you? You know, sometimes it ha it's hectic, because uh -huh. they feel like you're too childish, uh -huh. and 
you're pushing for everything to be okay. Uh -huh. They just want you to take it slow, uh -huh. take uh -huh. it easy, Farida. I feel like you're naive. And We've been there, just uh -huh. take it easy. <laughs> We've seen this before. Exactly. And this is something you have to deal with. Yeah, but State I, a school yeah. and that is uh, propagated by the older <laughs> generation. Yeah. All right, I, I feel that. I feel that. I'd like to take you back. Um, you, you gave a, a speech or a talk at Engage. Yeah. Engage, which is a very good movement in this country right now. Yeah. It's a platform for people who have achieved and they get to, to inspire other people through their stories. Yes. You told your story there yeah. and it was quite interesting. Mm. People don't know this much about you, so maybe you can share this with us. Okay, so mm -hmm. I shared my story uh -huh. at Engage against all odds. Uh -huh. I've made it to where I am mm -hmm. and uh, if just a snippet of the whole story is that mm -hmm. I grew up from a very well-off family until my dad lose, lost his job when I was mm -hmm. in class seven. That is when I, I, start, I totally saw the confusion in my life because nobody communicated and stuff. And growing up, joining high school was actually a little bit, so it was not easy because at some point when I was in Form 2, I had to drop for a whole term. Mm -hmm. I didn't go to school for two terms. Mm -hmm. Then I joined the, 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 the following year. Mm -hmm. Then uh, on the process, finishing school, my parents divorced. Mm -hmm. So the movement, like mom going back home, I needed to have like I needed to have a place and accommodation. Mm -hmm. Moving from different houses. How I old were you at this time? I'm twenty. Uh, at that time, at that particular at that time, time mm -hmm. I was seventeen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So wow. I've stayed to like six homesteads so mm -hmm. far. Moving from one friend's home to another, mm -hmm. relative to another. I don't want to to tell the story. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it's it has not been easy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but. Um, what I can say is the moment you know what you want mm -hmm. and you're very passionate of what you want to achieve, mm -hmm. no matter how the current hits you, mm -hmm. you just have to get your mind there. Because mm -hmm. after all, if you give up, what will happen to your life? Mm -hmm. You will have given up, uh -huh. and who will be standing telling my story? All right. If Nobody I had given up by then, life have up. been today for this interview. Uh -huh. No. So if you choose to stand up by your own self, because uh -huh. Actually, everyone has a story. Mm -hmm. Everyone has a story. Mm -hmm. It's just that maybe yours is different from mine, mm -hmm. but the way it hit you, it's mm -hmm. actually maybe the same, mm -hmm. and it might be worse, because mm -hmm. you might be having a homestead and you didn't have a homestead, mm -hmm. but what you went through is actually worse for you, mm -hmm. and mine didn't hit me that hard the mm -hmm. way it and it's did. all here yes. at the end of the day. Yeah, so we uh -huh. just have to appreciate the fact that everybody has a story, uh -huh. and you should stop blaming each other and mm -hmm. just work on what you want to achieve. Achieve. Work on what you want to achieve. Yeah. Uh, being able to achieve this mindset mm -hmm. uh, of stability, yeah. uh, you have you are a very stable person considering what you have gone through. Yeah. Uh, so many people would have ended up uh, with mental issues, mental health issues. Uh, but you seem strong and you seem uh, you seem confident enough to move on. How how how, how what is that food that you feed your mind to I make it this strong? Actually, it's, it, I know it's hard, it's not easy. Mm -hmm. At some point, I used to sit at the ferry mm -hmm. and I just move the way it ferries people until I'm, I'm, I'm being tapped on. Young woman, what mm -hmm. are you doing here? Because you, you, everybody, at some point, you're stressed mm -hmm. and you do, just don't know. It doesn't mm -hmm. mean that I'm strong, I'm here telling my story, mm -hmm. that it didn't hit me at some mm -hmm. point, it mm -hmm. did. But the people you actually choose to stand with, mm -hmm. The, the, the words that you let your mind mm -hmm. digest and what you, are, you have in store in your heart is mm -hmm. actually what drives you. Because mm -hmm. some people will pity you, mm -hmm. will cry with you the moment you're telling them your story, mm -hmm. and then they'll just leave it at that. Mm -hmm. After all, we've cried together, mm -hmm. I've pity you, then they'll leave it at that. Mm -hmm. Some will take that task upon you to keep mm -hmm. checking on you. Mm -hmm. So those are the people you should cling on and mm -hmm. actually hold yourself onto those people because their words mm -hmm. and their ways are actually opening ways for mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. and uh, believing in God because this far, we just thank God. God is... Yeah. God, uh, <laughs> God summarizes everything. Kabisa, kabisa, kabisa. I usually have a conversation with God. I tell him, say that now, uh -huh. Or you give me an answer to this, <laughs> or else, yeah, you talk to him like it's uh, you are no one, no one with like him. Like your one word. Yeah. It's, all right, I feel that, I feel that. And that you've built a relationship with God, you've built a relationship with people, yeah. and this is your support structure. Yeah. And this is what keeps you sane right there. Mm -hmm. I feel that. All right, uh, so um, moving on mm -hmm. uh, to to other things, moving on with your life, uh, your future is coming, you're going to study, uh, you're going to college, mm -hmm. uh, you're going to need to 
carry on with these projects that oh. you've been doing. Are you going to seek some other people to help you with them? Are you going to be recruiting? First, I'll start with my brand. Mm -hmm. Because I've started, a, I started a brand uh, this year, mm -hmm. selling African prints, mm -hmm. and uh, luckily I got nominated for the um, Entrepreneurship Award mm -hmm. under the Women in Business Award 2019 Kenya, mm -hmm. under the category of Young Entrepreneur. Actually, it gave my brand a mileage mm -hmm. and got out there. So it's it's a challenge upon me. I mm -hmm. want to first expand on El Bravo African collections. Mm -hmm. Yeah from adding more people into my team mm -hmm. on the supplies because you can imagine I'm now here for an interview and yet business has to go on <laughs> business there. has to go. Yeah, money. So it's all Bravo about money. is the name of the brand. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so and Bravo deals in African prints. Yeah, yeah. And then Bravo deals in fabric. Yes. All right. So uh, maybe you can give us a brief history of and Bravo. How did and Bravo come about okay. from the name first? <laughs> from the name. Uh -huh. So my father used to work as a tour driver uh -huh. and uh, the tourists actually used to call him bravo. They used to, to uh, for the work he does, they uh -huh. used to congratulate him and say bravo. Uh -huh. So the friends took that name and named him Ali Bravo. Uh -huh. Even right now, even if you go back to Shanzu, uh -huh. where I was born and raised, and say, I, I'm looking for bravo, you're uh -huh. going to be taken to my father. Uh -huh. So after the frustrations and staying away from my father, we actually didn't speak for a year. Uh -huh. And then, you know that you need that father figure. Uh -huh. So I, I decided to, to maintain that relationship with him. Uh -huh. For the business that I'm going to start, I should name it after him. Uh -huh. And not actually directly Ali, uh -huh. and I took El Bravo, uh -huh. which is his nickname. All right, so yeah. this, is, uh, this, is, uh, this is something for Daddy. Yeah. All right, Daddy's got right there. Yeah. So we have, uh, we have uh, the story uh, about the name, yeah. uh, and the story about the business now. How did it start, and where did you get the capital from? Because I'm imagining you were struggling back then. <sighs> Okay, so I got this 24-day uh, contract job uh -huh. at, should I name the company, really? Not, not necessarily. You don't have to, but you got a 24-day. So day. We, we actually used to market for this company because mm. when they have a, a change in packaging, mm. you go to Ile Kutembea. <laughs> like Kutembea kwa Maduka, you, you have to talk to the shopkeeper uh -huh. and, uh, and convince actually them convince them to buy uh, the to product uh -huh. and... Uh, uh, just informing them of the changes. So mm -hmm. it was for the 24 days. I earned actually a very good salary. It was uh, 17K. Mm -hmm. that, that was. Some it was like 17,000 after 24 days. Yeah, so I decided to. to, to uh -huh. I bought this pink dashiki. Uh -huh. And I remember the first day I wore it was actually. I went for a clean up uh -huh. with some youths in uh -huh. uh, some um, correctional facility. Uh -huh. Then my friends were like, this chat is awesome. We usually see it on Facebook. Everybody is now fascinated about uh -huh. the outfit. I'm like, just bought it at Marikiti. This uh, is just this is there. Normal, so. yeah. Now when I saw the interest, I decided that this, this is where I'm going to earn money. Uh -huh. So I started with the dashiki shirts. Uh -huh. Yeah. All right, but so you started selling the shiki shirts. Yeah, because... Uh -huh, from the 17,000, you took a portion of the money, bought mm -hmm. some dashiki shirts, shirts and, and uh, sold the dashiki shirts. And then what did you move on to next? I saw the, the market being open because uh -huh. from the prices people were quoting of the Kitengas, uh -huh. then I thought, if I'm selling the dashikis and people are now asking me, can you design this top for me with this Ankara? Uh -huh. Then I said, why not do this thing? Mm. Then I got it upon Pushing me. Opportunity for expansion. Yes. And, and what is this? this how, how long ago is this? This uh, actually El Bravo has been operating uh -huh. but now it's out there it's six months now. Six months uh, now. Yeah. All right, six months and there's steady growth for sure. Yeah. Where do you get your customers from? I do it online because mm -hmm. now I don't have a physical address. Mm -hmm. I'm now actually working for on their physical addresses. Mm -hmm. So it's just online. Uh -huh. Yeah. And you Instagram deliver. everywhere uh -huh. and I deliver. All right. Your customers are only from Mombasa County or uh, across the coast and the country? No, actually, the, uh, in, uh, around the country, because the, the biggest order I've ever received was from a friend of mine mm -hmm. who stays in Germany. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I got 25 pieces of dashiki shirts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I, I, I sell across the country. All right, what is the origin say. of these dashiki shirts and the fabrics that you deal with? I get them from Dar es Salaam. Dar es Salaam? Yeah. So, right, East Africa. Yeah. Uh, right here in East Africa. So, <laughs> make East Africa great <laughs> again. For exactly. Sure. exactly. Right, what is the future with your business? Now that you say that you're planning to make it bigger and, and better, uh, better and establish it uh, so that by the time you're checking into school, mm -hmm. uh, it's something stable. 
for now, mm -hmm. what I'll say is I cannot give what I don't have. Mm -hmm. And I'm actually using sure. Bravo for my upkeep and mm -hmm. uh, some of the money that I earn back to the community. Mm -hmm. At some point when I get stable, that mm -hmm. is, and my stability comes in after um, I'm done with school, I guess, mm -hmm. or any other opportunity that comes along, mm -hmm. I'll definitely give El Bravo to the community. Mm -hmm. Like on a sure, 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 and honestly speaking, mm -hmm. everything that I'll earn from El Bravo, by then if I get stable, mm -hmm. anything that I earn from El Bravo won't get into my pocket, mm -hmm. but directly to the community. All right, this selflessness, that you're, that you're oozing right here, mm -hmm. right now. Uh, not so many people have it. Mm -hmm. uh, not so many people can, can give like that. Yeah. What, what makes you that person? Because I actually knows how it feels like to lack uh -huh. and to actually get from someone. Uh -huh. Yeah. Wow. Wonderful. I'm inspired for sure. <sighs> Tell them how they can get a piece of uh, then Bravo fabrics and then Bravo sh uh, shirts and uh, lo the looks. Okay. From Bravo. okay, so mm -hmm. you can follow El Bravo, El Bravo African Collections on mm -hmm. Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, mm -hmm. or you can contact us at uh, 0718 mm -hmm. 43 2585. Anytime we deliver, anywhere. Anytime and anywhere for yes. sure. Yes. Your words, uh, your last words to the people who are watching right now, I, I'd like you to talk to, to the people. Who sat their KZB mm -hmm. and are watching us right now? Because the results are out. Uh, we have somebody with 43 marks, yeah. and we have somebody with 440 and, and something marks. Mm -hmm. marks yeah. What I can say is that it's never that serious. Mm -hmm. So long as you gave it your best, mm -hmm. and that was your, like you gave it to your whole, mm -hmm. accept what you've, uh, you've received as your results. Mm -hmm. And now from there, what do you want? Mm -hmm. Do, what are you going to do now that that is what you've achieved? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Moving forward. Moving forward. Just uh -huh. sit and uh, don't compare yourself with anyone. Uh -huh. Don't think of the frustrations. If I did this, I could have. No, no, no. So long as you gave it your best shot, now that that is what you've achieved, what are you going? What are you deciding to do with what you've achieved? Because what you choose to do now, what you choose to do or not to do now, cannot be changed in the future. Uh -huh. Yeah. So what you choose uh, to do or not to do now cannot, cannot be, be changed, changed in, in the, the future. future. You have to focus uh, on right now yeah. and the future Yes. as a candidate. Yeah. All right. Remind them again how they can get a hold of uh, El Bravo because uh, we need to sell these, uh, these pieces. We are actually sure. going to sell them. Uh -huh. So uh -huh. follow El Bravo African mm -hmm. Collections on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Or you can call us at 0718. 43 mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you very much for coming through to Wine in the Morning. Welcome. We appreciate you so much. Keep doing what you're doing. Thank you. And uh, all the best in your endeavors. Thank you. All right. We have come to the end of the first interview of the day. We had Farida, who is a humanitarian, and she has a clothing line as well, and she's dealing in, in African fabric. You can find her on social media at El, El Bravo. El Bravo African. El, El Bravo Africa, for sure. Buy a piece uh, to save a life somewhere, because the money uh, is going to be saving lives. That is what she said. I go by the name of Barry Moses, or it's Barry Moses Social Media. Alex is coming up next. Don't go nowhere.